I've just created a new dev test lab in Microsoft Azure and I'm eager to get started working in it. The first thing I need to do is deploy a virtual machine into there. So I'm starting on the dev test labs dashboard and I'll click on the name of my lab. From here I can see that I don't currently have any virtual machines assigned to me under the my virtual machines area. And I can also see that there are no claimable virtual machines within the lab. So I can add a new virtual machine to the lab by clicking the add button and I first need to choose a base for this new machine. So this lab's going to be used to test how an application runs on server core, so I'll type that into the filter items box to limit the images being shown. And with that search term entered, I can see that there's a Windows Server 2016 data center server core image available. So I'll select that, and I can start to define my virtual machine settings. The first setting, of course, is the virtual machine name, and by default, new machines created within a lab are going to use the username of the user that's creating them. However, as numerous people will be able to use this lab, I'll change that to something generic. Now, if you've already got a password saved in the lab's secret store, you can tick the box here and select it from the drop-down list. However, as you can see, I don't currently have any secrets saved. So I'll untick the box and type in a new password. And I can now save this password as the default for any future machines that are spun up in this lab. If you don't want that to be the case, you can untick this option. Next, choose a virtual machine size. For this machine, I don't actually need two gigabytes of RAM that's been provided by default, so I'll turn down my size to an image with only one gigabyte. And if I need any artifacts for this machine, I can select them from the available list. I can also adjust any advanced settings, such as the virtual network, subnet, etc. The only setting I'll change here is the claim options. This defaults to no, meaning this virtual machine will be assigned to me and me alone. Whereas if I make the machine claimable, other users of my lab will be able to pick up and use this VM. So I'll click OK on those advanced options, and then click Create for my virtual machine. We can see in the notifications that my virtual machine is being created, and it's also popped up under the claimable virtual machines. You can currently see that the status is creating, and this will take as long as a regular Azure virtual machine to become ready. So in a couple of minutes, we'll be able to claim and connect to this virtual machine. So we've successfully created our first virtual machine within an Azure DevTest lab. Thanks for watching.